Hey, hey, it's Tucson Jams. Welcome, welcome. This is my son, Daniel. What's going on? Tall and handsome. He's a good, he's a good drummer, too. He's got some stuff. You'll be seeing him later on in one of the shows, so give a look. We're uh, going to be driving around town, talking and doing whatever happens. So Where are you going? Come follow along. We're going to. Going? We're going to. The hut. Let's go check it out. <laughs> is this your is this your new vehicle, huh? I remember the oh, last one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Quite the whoopie there, huh? What, yeah, what, no. what, what do we got out here? We, is this thing safe? I don't know. I got to travel in the car. <laughs> hey, you know it's a I musician mean. car, man. What can I say? <laughs> this one was now 550. <laughs> um, um, it, it runs real good, man. You can trust it. It's, you got it's a cool. seat belt, is my Yeah, question. yeah. You got a seat belt. All right, let's yeah. go. Yeah, all right. Okay. Nice, no, it's really, you've come up in the world, I see with the show, it must have really brought you up in the world. Yeah, yeah, actually. Now that you're like a star, is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, actually, no, I can this afford it. This is sweet. No, this I can, is, the I dash is afford, mostly even there still. I can actually all. afford a $700 car now. Yeah. We're taking off to the hut. We're going to go down and do a little filming around down yonder. And uh, we're going to check out the uh, Tiki God that's just uh, on its side at the moment. They haven't got it all set up, but uh... Oh, you, you're talking, now wait a minute folks, he's talking about the famous the Tiki God from the golf and stuff, is yeah, that, yeah, that correct? Yeah. I got the name We're, right. I, I live myself, I live right next to golf and stuff most of my life, and they had the, uh, the Tiki God yeah. at the, at the, it's a miniature golf park, right? Yeah. Uh, they're tearing down the miniature golf park, yeah, and it's... people don't want to see it go. Keep that Tucson history alive. So, so, so what's happening is they're they're uh, they're tearing the thing down. They're putting it up at the hut. That's I gotta, cool. Preserving Tucson history. Yes, yeah, right. Preserving Tucson. I got history. a I got a good dirty story for you. Okay, what's that? <laughs> well, you see, this tiki god is so huge. It's a couple of three stories high. Okay. And you could walk around in there, you know, and had spiral staircase and all that kind of stuff. It was quite okay. the it was quite the amusement little thing, you know. And uh, uh, a lot of the kids in Tucson that are adults now, of course, grew up here and played in that thing many, many years ago. Uh, in fact, old Brian Dean says that he got his first titty in there. <laughs> what? No, wait a minute. Now, does his wife know this first of all? I'd like to know him. What are you talking about? Well, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she doesn't mind at all. Yeah. He, was, he was only six, seven years old anyway, so, okay. like, you know. Well, Start young. Okay. Yeah. Right. And you know them guitar players. He was destined to do that anyway, wasn't he? You know, yeah. But uh, but no, there's a lot of good history there, and I remember uh, various people telling me that uh, they had played around in there when they were little kids because it was built in '70, and uh, so there's a lot of folks that remember it and would be touched by the fact that they can go downtown on Fourth Avenue and see it you know yeah and now they come to that now they can go to tucson jams the hut you know yep, they and, can see this thing huh and it's going to be it's going to be standing right there as the entrance to the hut i believe is the way they're going to design it now that's and it'll cool. be a beautiful thing yeah that it'll be, is cool yeah it'll be the coolest attraction on fourth avenue it'll be now, great now the hut's always kind of stood for that kind of thing i mean well, you know they got the they got the grass and uh and all the all the stuff we you know call you ever been to the hut not so far yeah, well, you're not old enough. Stay together. <laughs> Are you a musician still? Because we haven't heard from you. I oh, thought yeah, maybe yes. you just dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah, I had the woodshed. I was kind of sla slacking. So uh, I've just been drumming and playing my guitar. Okay. Uh, I hope I'm up to par now. We're going to see you play at all? Or, you know, yeah, or, very soon. You know? Yeah, well, I'll be coming down to the hut oh. probably next Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday. even within the next like few minutes or yeah, there you go. Now there's the magic of tell devil a little bit of a Yeah, he's done this before, folks. Right. Teleportation? Teleportation. Television, I think is what he's referring to. Television. Television. Then they made you get a digital converter. You got one of those yet, Deacon? Is your, da is your dad, is he up to par with the times? Is he? No. Guys never owned a cell phone, never owned a computer. And you know what? That's fun. Never owned a, a never cell phone. Never owned a cell phone. Can, I, I you be, can you be further off the grid? Dino, yeah. Dinosaur Deacon. Dino, Dino Deacon. 
A dino deacon. <laughs> dino deacon. But has he got a pager or something? No, he doesn't even have that. He wouldn't, have, he, he wouldn't know how to work that. I got a telephone number, man. I got a telephone number. I can be reached. Okay, it's a message. But it's a landline. Yeah. Well, Something's weird about it, because I can call it, yeah, folks, and he can call you back, but he can't ever answer the phone at it. Exactly. So I don't know what's going on with it. I, I, I just can't hear a telephone ring it's frequency. Messy. So where are we going? What are we doing? We're going down We're going to the hut. To see the TV. We're going down to the hut and ask for a raise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who's a man to raise? What do you think about that? Even? I would think about all you're going to get is a rise. Yeah, that, that would be yeah. about Yeah, rise, thing. raise, yeah. you know, that's all good. Well, I mean, all the shit going on in the world, you know, they need music, don't they? Oh, yes, boy. They and is this thing happening or what at the high? We are the warriors. We are the warriors. They need yeah, us. You've never been there, but I mean, it's you've seen the show, right? Uh, oh, yes. I mean, there's, there's, it's happening. Though. Oh, big time. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, the hut's popping. A lot of folk coming down. Pop it's, it's the right place. So yes, we're sir. on, where are we at right now? Where are we at? Oh, God. Oh, hey, there ain't no room in this car. You need a bigger car. <laughs> I don't know if you folks can see this here. Where's the hut? We're on fifth. Fifth and Country okay, Club. Okay, Fifth and Country Club. A famous corner in Tucson, yes. Basically. There's been many very strange things that happen right here. Kind of like this, too. <laughs> this is probably illegal, the way we're driving. I would say Very probably so. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is by the angle of my neck right now. Hide the dope. We'll I'm probably get stopped by a cop. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have, like, nothing in your car. Oh, you not me, right no. Now. I'm just... I don't do that. Holy shit, you just I don't do that. I thought I just remembered something. I don't do that. You're supposed to ask this what before you get in someone's car. As we all know, dope will get you through times of no money much better than money will get you through times of no dope. Now, this, this does not necessarily reflect the views on the station and or Tucson Jams, uh, Basically, uh, yeah. What do you say? <laughs> Well, that's a, that's the fabulous Fairy Freak Brothers. I can't claim that one. This particular car is actually in not not too bad a shape. <laughs> Didn't you go it's got all windows. The, the, the last mope beater you had was, oh, I mean, well, this yeah. one does have all the windows. I yes. get you that. Yeah. The last few vehicles I saw, you didn't have no passenger window, did you? I see him uh, in the it, winter, he's it, got it taped up. It does happen. It, it does happen. He's a musician. He's driving around one of them cars. Yep. <laughs> I got myself a tape. He probably got your old damn car, you know? <laughs> what happened to your last car? Oh. Uh, uh, no. No. Oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, actually, I'm operating illegally. Me too. I'm going to keep that. But hey, hey, listen, listen, we got we to gotta talk about this boy here. This is, though it's a little hard to see, this is the Tiki God. Dad, it almost don't look like it. It's Place going... of Dean's first tit. Yeah. It almost don't look like it. What do they got? It, they got it boxed up there, don't they? Huh? Yeah. They got some good people like us. That's a snows right there. Looks like they even redid it right before they started the project. So you've been on this thing. Yeah, you, oh yeah, you, yeah. Hang on a minute now. Oh, oh, I see. This is the hut. I, I remember. This is where the Tucson Jams is. Affirmative. This bees the hut. That's and why I'm not knows exactly it. sure what's going on, but I think they're going to put it up on the unit. Wow. Now the beauty of this is it's a real piece of Tucson history with all the folks that have played there when they were kids and so forth. There is a fellow that comes in here that was actually one of the people who, who did the construction. He said they made it out of paper mache in 1970. He uh, said they made it out of paper mache and let that dry for a couple of three days. Then they covered it with uh, uh, concrete, uh, kind of like a, I'm not, some sort of concrete kind of thing.